I'm Peter Nichols. Uh, my father, usually known as Bill, had the shoe factory in High Street uh, called Hilton and Nichols when he moved into the village. In the early 60s, he had approximately 30 people working in the company. And it was a time when he was designing a lot of fashion shoes and stiletto heels. I can remember him sitting at home, putting paper onto a, a wooden last and sketching the outline of shoes and styles onto last and then taking away and cutting the patterns. And that's one of the biggest memories we father, just sitting in the chair, designing shoes. He got a large order in and he got supplied with a lot of stiletto heels. He manufactured an awful lot of shoes and unbeknown to him, they were quite fragile, the heels, and they shattered when they were used and when the girls walked on them. So that caused an awful lot of problems. And a lot of the shoes returned and put the father in a very financial difficult position. It was quite bad. To get money in to help the cash flow, he started a stall on Northampton Market where he was able to take some of his wares with him and uh, sell them on to keep the money coming in as he got back on his feet again. About 1970s, early 1970s, I, along with my brother Michael and sister Jocelyn, joined the company. Um, we was initially out on the markets and we spent a few days in, in the factory doing some work. I, I did the clicking, cutting out of the uppers for the shoes, but with the recession, um, imports coming in, cheaper shoes from the Far East and that sort of thing. It wasn't really effective or to um, manufacture shoes in this country. Or, and we found that we just had to carry on with the sales side of the business. My father actually worked on till he was 81 in the business and passed away a year later at 82. But as I say, he was a very determined man. He'd like to keep his um, finger on the pulse and any decisions that were made. And it was his baby and so much as that. And we actually carried on with the business, going out to markets and the factory shoe shop from Lombok be up till 2000 when shopping habits changed, Sunday trading opened up. The Sunday markets weren't what they were, and there was like three or four families trying to get a living out of it, and it just really wasn't really viable. And at that point, we had to make the tough decision, which is probably the hardest decision that we've ever had to make, which is to close the business and go off in different ways and find something else to do, which we did. My interest at the time was motor racing. Um, everybody said that you never get into motor racing. It was just something that was just far out of the way. It was very difficult, but all I'd known was the shoe industry. The skills I learned there and adapting to different processes is all what I'm doing now, which is manufacturing high performance parts for Formula One cars that basically glued together to go around the track at 200 miles an hour with, you know, Michael Schumacher and Nico Rosberg, your lives in their hands, just glued together. It's all very, very clinical, all very precision made, but the two industries as were or are part of the county's history goes on from one progression to another. And um, it's just been nice to be a part of both and um, to go from making shoes to making 200 mile an hour motor cars. It's fantastic and uh, very interesting working life.